Anaheim One right around the corner, and two riders have the most at stake. Hey, everybody, Walty, buckle up and strap in. I got a hard hitting pull no punches, so no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage um, today as we have a race within a race. It's all coming down to Anaheim One. And there's two, there's a lot of riders with a lot at stake this year, but I believe there's two riders. No one's talking about a race within the race. It could get pretty dicey out there. Nobody has more at stake, in my opinion, than our boy, Kickstart Kenny. <laughs> Kickstart that Suzuki. So what he hopes is a win. Something nobody's been able to do for a long, long time. It The pressure is on Kickstart Kenny. We're cheering for you, buddy. But then we have Colt Nichols. He's got a lot of pressure on him, too. And believe me, if Kickstart Kenny has Colt in front of him, do you think Kickstart Kenny wants him to finish in front of him? Oh, no, no, no. Kenny's got a point to prove for Suzuki and a point to prove over at Honda that they made a massive, massive mistake. And the, rea and the realities are both these guys... Both these guys have a lot of pressure on them. Now, for Colt, let's unpackage him really quick. Colt, my guess, there's no money, guaranteed money. It was like, here, Colt, here's your chance. You, you, you basically, we don't care what you do this season because guess what? No matter how good of a finish you provide, you're not sticking around, around this team anyway. This is just a chance for you to audition to try to get a ride next year. You know why? Because Jet Lawrence and Hunter Lawrence are the new face of the company. We put all our eggs in that basket. We're just buying time till we can put them both in the 450 class, and then everybody's gone. You too, Chase Sexton. How much? But here's the thing. Honda has a lot of paying sponsors, and their sponsors pay to have two bikes on the track in the premier class. So... Colt Nichols gets his 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 shot at this deal, but like I said, they probably said, "Here you get a full factory." I've done this at Triple X. I did the same thing for riders. I remember uh, Clark Alabama Slam. Dude, listen, man, got an extra bike. You got to bring your own mechanic. That you're you're gonna we'll pay your airfare. We'll get you to the races. There's gonna be a bike there. Now with Colt, he's probably gonna get airfare, everything, all expense, and in performance based incentives. And there maybe was a little teeny money involved. Who knows? I don't know. It's not important. The realities are one thing Honda can't have is him being out there being a lapper. And the last time Colt lined it up was Anaheim 1 a year ago where he got hurt really bad. So in the back of his mind, he's got that injury link lingering. And this is very much a mental game. Your Moto IQ has to be on point. Laser focus. So... This is a big one. Now, I'm sure over at Honda, they're saying, hey, Colt, you know, if you could just make sure, you know, top 10s would be outstanding. That's all we're really looking for. You know, make sure you get through every round, Colt. You know, you got to probably worry about those arms. They just want you to make sure you're not a lapper inside the top 10 and Chase is up there battling for podiums and buying time until they can usher in the Lawrence brothers. So that is their master plan if I had to guess. Now, Kenny Boy rocks and kickstart Kenny. Similar type of pressure for one. Suzuki was on the verge, I heard, of folding up their complete program. They claimed a couple of their top prospects it just weeks ago with Hart, Raff, and Munford. And now Kickstart Kenny, who's already had significant injuries himself, is supposed to kickstart this bike to a championship. I'm sure for him, they're telling him the same thing. Hey, Kenny, you know, the first round, let's just get through this one. You know, top 10, top 5 would be awesome. You know, don't you don't have to go for it all, Kenny. But Kenny's a racer, and if he finds Colt on the track, my guess is some, something might click. The old brain might say, hey, that's my old bike. I can't have that guy finishing in front of me. He might clean him out. There could be some drama. I believe we're going to see some massive fireworks. The drama this season will be historical. In many ways, it's going to be fun to blow the lid off a lot of stuff as we read between the lines and look between the cracks and not sugarcoat it like other channels. Today's race report, and I want to feature it. No, 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 no. We're going to talk about the things that others won't talk about because they're afraid of hurting feelings or having the industry maybe get upset with them. I don't care. I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to, I'm here for the fans. This has always been about the fans. The fans are the people in the seats. The fans are the people that buy the bikes. The fans are what it all comes down to right now. So right now, as we see this all unfold, the pressure, the stakes are high for, for a lot of riders, but Kickstart Kenny and Rug Pull Colt Nichols. I don't know if it's Rug Pull Colt Nichols, but Colt Nichols at the moment, Colt 45. 
it's got a lot of pressure on him. And, and I would just imagine as a competitive guy myself, and I know you guys would, could understand this, if you're on the track and you're Kenny Boy Roxon and you see Colt and vice versa, if Colt sees Kenny, there's going to be, they're going to be gentlemen, they're going to be cordial to each other. But once the gate drops, we all know our alter ego comes out. We might act way, one way off the track, but on the track, something clicks for us in the eye of the tiger, the smell of blood, a shark in the water. Uh, we're going to start dive bombing people if we have to. And then if you get your ru your feathers ruffled, if you don't like the way somebody squeezed you out on a first turn and you find them again during the race, you're probably going to maybe take out a front wheel. That's just the way it is. But the realities are both these guys need to do much more than just finish the race. Colt has to make sure he's not a lapper. Kickstart Kenny has to be sniffing the podium. Any A top 10 will be an epic fail. Now, I know the teams are going to tell him, get out healthy, don't worry about results, let's just get through this round. That's what they always tell the riders. But we all see how emotional it is for any rider to come win A1. It is massive. And even like Ricky says, you can't win the championship at Anaheim 1, but you can lose it. Ricky has never won an Anaheim 1 in his career, and he's the, he's the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Ricky knows what's up, but he's also had to sugarcoat it a little bit himself because he's never won Anaheim one. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, as an industry guy, wants to see not only win on the track, off the track. The pressure is on for Kickstart Kenny and Colt Nichols. These two have probably some of the biggest pressure of any rider that's going to be lining it up this Anaheim one and there's going to be a race within a race that a lot of people might not be talking about they probably will if this video starts to go viral because then all of a sudden others are going to jump on this trend believe me there's a race within a race right now Kenny is not happy with Honda and Colt knows that his probably he's this is a one audition deal to try to get a ride for next year because him and Sexton are old news right now honda is just buying time until they can usher in the lawrence brothers into the premier class and then bring up their next 250 class of riders we're going to see how this one plays out and i'm going to blow the lid off it every step of the way because it's not only what you need it's in fact what you deserve if you appreciate the content i want to humbly ask you to give the video a like subscribe to the channel leave a comment below i would love to hear from you social media link in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there and if you enjoyed this video i know you're going to love the next video and there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience as always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars today. I will see you on the next video.